going on guys all right so we got the big table back again because this is another sole premise bag review now I know I just did a review on the commuter bag a few weeks ago uh, by the way the, the commuter bag is doing great I bring it to the city every single day on the train in any weather and it's holding up fantastic uh, literally looks brand new I, I post pictures of my story every now and again just to keep you guys updated but seriously that leather is holding up beautifully not a scuff not a scratch and everything the stitching everything I use that bag every single day and it's still good as new but I have a new bag here for you today and this is actually going to be a review slash comparison with a giveaway at the end as you can probably tell from the title of this video but yes, I'm going to be giving away the first sole premise bag that I got, the nylon bag. So I'm going to show you the new bag that I got, and then I'll compare it to the nylon, show you the differences and how sole premise has uh, progressed through their development and product, and, and then I'll give you the rules for the giveaway. So let's get started. All right, so on my right, we have the nylon bag. This was the first bag that I got from sole premise. And now we have the brand new tumbled leather black bag. I'm going to show you guys the similarities and the differences. Honestly, there's not too many differences. They are essentially the same bag. It's the same concept. Both hold five pairs of shoes, but there are some key differences between the two. Now, mind you, I don't mean by differences that this one is the end-all be-all better bag than this one. This one I still brought to Cleveland with me, like on the plane, everything, and it held five pairs of shoes and not a single one was harmed in any way. It was perfect. I love this bag. That is why I'm raffling it off so that somebody else can appreciate what Soul Premise is doing. A bag that holds five pairs of sneakers is certified TSA carry-on. And you know what? Let's get into it. So guys, first I'm gonna get into the new tumbled leather bag. Now, as you can see, it has the same two front pockets as well as the same bottom section. Now the bottom section is a bit bigger than the other sections that hold shoes. Honestly, you can get two pairs of shoes in here if you really fit them tight. If you have two pairs of runners or even a high top and a pair of really low runners. Uh, you can get two pairs of sneakers in here. Me, I actually put my camera bag in here. This fits my camera bag perfectly. Now here is where one of the differences comes in. Uh, you actually have, here's the section that holds the shoes. The, one pair of shoes here, one pair of shoes here. That is the same as the nylon bag. What is different on this bag is the three compartments here. One, two, and three. This is not included in the nylon bag. This is something that has been added since uh, for extra storage along this end. Now, don't get me wrong. This is a very nice addition, but what I did with this bag was I actually put the shoes in and then just laid the bag flat, put clothes on the nylon backing here, and then just closed it and zipped it up. It still held uh, four pairs of clothing like four sets of clothing. So I had my sneakers and my clothes for the weekend packed into this bag, even without those uh, new compartments. Next, we have the middle section. Middle section, mostly the same. It has the laptop pocket here, but as the front section, it does also have this new added zipper pocket right on the other side. Now again, this is a nice addition, but it still doesn't take away from the function of the nylon bag. It may not have that zipper, but I was still able to get my stuff in there, no problem. Back section, same as the front, but it does have this new added section, and instead of two separated zipper pockets, it is two full sections at the top and the bottom, mirroring the shoe compartments. Now aside from the new compartments and the extra zippers and everything, the one key difference between this bag and the nylon bag is that this bag is tumbled leather instead of the all-weather nylon. Now, this may be all-weather nylon, but my leather uh, commuter bag has held up in rain and snow just fine. Uh, another big factor in this one is they added more padding into the leather bag. Uh, it is for functionality and protection of the sneakers. 
which is very appreciated. But again, these lasted a plane ride to Cleveland and my whole travel, I took, they call it the train to the plane. I took the train all the way to JFK Airport, flew to Cleveland, it handled everything just fine. Now, a little bit of a plug. If you want to get this bag, hit the link in the description below or head over to my Instagram. I have the link in there as well. You can use co uh, code KICKSTRONG for 20% off all these bags. Hit me up if you want to know more details about them. But here we go. I'm going to give you a quick side-by-side -side comparison of the two. Then we'll get into this giveaway. Now, I'm going to give you a quick 360s of the bags. Uh, so here we have the front. Literally, these bags, aside from material, look almost identical. So, the bag, we have the front, we have the Soul Premise logo. The logo is a little more vibrant on the nylon bag because it is in the silver stitching instead of uh, impressioned into the leather on the leather bag. But, we have the two zipper pockets and we have the same base. So, go to the right. Literally, same three zippers down the sides, back, same straps, same padding along the back, same mesh backing so that it is breathable when it is on your back, especially if you're traveling or walking around a lot. It does make a significant difference. And obviously, right side is the same as the left and we're back to the front. So, really quick, I'm just gonna show you the inside of the fronts since you'll get the same idea since the middles and the backs are basically identical as outside of the new pockets in the leather bag. So let me open them up. I'll give you a quick look at what it looks like without those new pockets and then we'll get into the giveaway. As you can see, it is the same front two shoe compartments the, sh the bottom shoe compartment in the leather bag does open similar to the bottom compartment in the commuter bag where it opens to the side instead of down. But still two compartments in the front that hold two pairs of shoes and now there's just a nylon backing here where there are the new three pockets on the leather bag. Outside of that, these two bags are nearly identical. Alright guys, so that's it for the review and the comparison between the two bags. Let's get into the rules for the giveaway. Alright everybody, rules of the raffle, what you've all been waiting for and it is simple. Soul Premise and I will be making Instagram posts regarding the raffle and they will all say the same thing. Follow me on Instagram at Kickstrong. Follow them on Instagram at Soul Premise sub to my YouTube channel, which you're already watching, and tag three friends in the comments below the post. Easy as that. Follow me, follow Soul Premise, sub to my YouTube, tag three friends, you're in it to win it. Free raffle for this bag right here. Nylon Soul Premise bag, TSA, flight approved, carry on, holds five pairs of sneakers and more. I mean, is there anything else that really needs to be said? I will ship it to you. That is it. No questions asked. It doesn't matter where you live. I will ship it to you. This is a free raffle. So again, one more time. Follow me at Kickstrong. Follow at Soul Premise on Instagram and subscribe to my YouTube. Comment some friends that you think would also like to get in on this giveaway and guys you know what that's it so once I post this video I'm gonna make the first post regarding this raffle so get on it get in it to win it and let's get somebody a bag okay so the raffle ends Thursday February 21st at midnight Eastern Standard Time that's my time New York time at midnight Thursday February 21st the raffle will end Friday, February 22nd, I will announce the winner in my story, at Kickstrong, in my story, after the Nation of Souls Live has ended. So after the Nation of Souls Live, I will put all the names into a random name picker for everyone who entered, and I will post the winner in my story. So that's it for this video. You already know what it is. This is Kickstrong. Like, comment, Hit that subscribe button. You know what? As Forrest will say, ring that bell. And then, 
do the right thing and follow me on Instagram. Shoot me a DM, talk to me about these bags, talk to me about sneakers, whatever you wanna to talk to, I respond to everybody. Every single person that hits me up, I respond to, unless you're trying to sell me some fake sneakers. Then I, then I probably won't respond to you. But other than that, most people that hit me up are cool people. So hit me up, I'll talk to you. We good. All right, so again, like, comment, subscribe, follow, DM. This is Kick Strong. I'm out.